The economy that we inherited in 1994 was built on a clearly crafted plan of deliberate exclusion of black people from opportunities in the labor market and also from the control and ownership of businesses and ownership of the land. Black people's investment in a variety of ways and even in the areas where black people lived. Infrastructure and services were limited and black entrepreneurs were denied access to opportunities. They were denied access to training, access to education, access to experience, markets, credits, in both the industrial and retail sectors of our economy. Despite the economic progress of the last 20 years, there are several structural features that still constrain our ability to address these challenges. The structure of ownership and control established over centuries of colonialism and apartheid still remain in place. Inequality in education and skills development means that our country struggles to produce the capability needed for a modern and diversified economy. As the Black Business Council has clearly articulated, central to this task of economic transformation is the need to rebuild and re-industrialize the economy of our country and as part of that process, yes, to develop black industrialists in our country. A lack of diversification and growth in the productive sectors of our economy has in the main contributed towards the de-industrialization of our economy over the past 30 years. The private sector accounts for 70% of production and employs up to 70% of working people in our country. But right now, this very private sector is not investing sufficiently in our economy to lift our economy out of uh, pedestrian growth. And of course, there are quite a number of other challenges that we face. Energy, as the president addressed it in his State of the Nation address is a major constraint. Skills is a major constraint. There's also lo low investment as well as low demand in our economy. However, on realizing all these constraints, President Jacob Zuma felt that we needed to have a bold approach. A bold approach that would begin to lift our country out of low growth and to put it on a trajectory of higher and better growth moving forward. And he came up with the idea of the National Development Plan, a plan through which we look into 2030. Hitherto, we had had a number of other plans. Yes, indeed, we had had the RTP that helped to lift us out of an oppressive system of apartheid and positioned us well, but right now with our economic performance, we needed a national development plan. And as part of the national development plan, we've had the new growth path and the industrial policy action plan, and all these are plans and measures that are meant to stimulate development in sectors such as agriculture, mining, manufacturing and construction. These critical programs provide the building blocks in the end for long-term vision set out in the National Development Plan. Radical economic transformation must ensure faster, inclusive growth combined with much higher levels of employment creation, with reduced inequality and the de-racialization of our economy. That is what radical economic transformation should be all about. It's a critical part of this program 
that is going to lead to massive strategic investments in a number of sectors. We are literally, literally beginning and continuing the process of building our nation brick by brick as we get involved in infrastructure, as we begin the reindustrialization process in a number of sectors. The Black Business Council has a critical role to play in forging such an alignment. It needs to be preparing immediately, immediately, Ngoku, Ngoku, immediately for the Presidential Business Working Group. The Bus Black Business Council must go to that Presidential Working Group ready, prepared, with ideas, with proposals, that will take the trajectory of our economy in another direction. So get ready now.